Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding a single bracket requiring simplification. Now there's nothing new in this video, you just need to know how to expand out a single bracket. So hopefully you've watched that video on that. So remember to expand out a single bracket, we do the thing from the bracket multiplied by each of the things inside that bracket. So the three gets multiplied by the two X and the three gets multiplied by the four. So if we do that and we'll leave these terms here as they are, the three gets multiplied by two X, three lots of two X is six lots of X and three times four is plus 12. And we've still got the plus five X and the minus three just minding its own business. That's not being expanded out from somewhere. But at this point, we can simplify by collecting like terms. So some people like to underline each of the terms, including the plus or the minus in front of the term. So the plus goes with that 12 on, on the right of it. That plus goes with the five X, the minus goes with that three. And then let's look at like terms. Terms are like terms, they involve the same variables and the same powers. Now these are both X terms and these don't involve X. So these are collect together, six lots of X plus five lots of X is 11 lots of X. And then plus 12 minus three is plus nine. And that's the final answer. We can't simplify that any further. And then what about this? Some students would try to do the three plus two and say, well, that's five, and then do five times the four minus two y. But there's no reason that we would do the three plus two first. Remember by order of operations, which you might know as Bidmus or Pedmus, um, we do the multiplication first, so the two times the four minus two y, and then we're adding on the three. So this two is grouped together with the four minus two y. So that's one thing. So we do the same thing as before. The two gets multiplied by each of the things inside that bracket. So the two times the four and the two times the minus three y. So we get three plus two times four is eight. Two times minus two y is negative four y. And then we just collect like terms. Well, these are two constant terms without an x. Three plus eight is just 11 and we've got 11 minus that 4y, and that is the final answer.